All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ronaldo Moore with PPG, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you'll know when I am dropping these heaters. We're back today with, uh, with more code violations. This time we will be talking about, or I will be talking about, plumbing, plumbing code violations. These are violations that I find day in and day out from job to job. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hope you guys stand safe. All right, this, is, this one is for my plumbers. Make sure you read the installation instructions for these tankless water heaters. We got one here in the mechanical room. We got the intake and the exhaust going out side of the house here. But the problem is the distance between the intake and the exhaust must be two feet, minimum two feet per installation instructions. Horizontal vending or tankless water heater. I have one now for my plumbers. They just threw this in the 2018 International Plumbing Code, or is it the Mechanical Code? I think it's the Plumbing Code, but that expansion tank, what here, the expansion tank cannot be supported by the copper piping or the water piping anymore. You have to secure that or strap that up to the to structure. Maybe strap it up to, in, in this particular case, you can probably strap it up to a, to a joist, floor joist above. I'm down here on a lower level, like a basement level for the renovation. But that, that expansion tank cannot be supported by that, by that copper line, that water pipe anymore. It's gotta be secured, it's gotta be strapped up. Also, the hot water piping in unfinished areas, this is more of a the energy code thing, energy code violation, I should say. Any hot water piping must be insulated. And as you can see the red, all the red piping down here in this unfinished area must be insulated. Back, back again with, with more code violations. Uh, we are in a laundry room, um, brand new house. Um, we need a, need an air gap. Plumbers, all my plumbers, we need an air gap at, at the hub drain. And this instantaneous water heater is a direct vent uh, water heater. That intake has got to be on the, on the exterior. Can't bring air from, from this, this little laundry room. Intake and both both lines have to be on the exterior. So my plumbers, please, please read the read the insulation manuals on these units. We're back again with some more code violations. These are violations that I find that I come across day in day out at at different projects, different sites. Um, we're in a renovated renovated home. I am doing the plumbing final. Uh, we need the water hammer arrestor for the dishwasher supply line. All right, and we also need water hammer arrestors at the, at the wash machine box for the hot and cold water line. Um, any quick closing valve requires a water hammer arrestor. Um, this is the little laundry area down on the low level. We need water hammer arrestors there as well. All right, we're back, back with some more violations. This one is for my plumbers. Hose bib, exterior. We need vacuum breaker fittings. Exterior hose bib. We need vacuum breaker fittings. All right, we're up on the second level of a new home. Um, and this is one of the violations that I come across a lot, all the time. Uh, a pressure test pressure drainage test for new plumbing uh, is required for all new plumbing up to the highest fixture and as always the tubs are never filled uh, the tubs are generally the highest fixture on on the second or third level and as you see no water um, none in the shower as well and we even have another tub on the other side 
with no water at all. And this is a violation that I come across all the time. Pressure drainage test, water must be filled up to the highest fixture. All right, this one, this one is for all, all my plumbers, my plumbing contractors. You got to slope your vent lines up, upward. He didn't, he came up through that wall and didn't slope it, didn't slope it up and definitely didn't, didn't slope that one up to the roof. He may maintain a horizontal plane there from one transition to, to another. You gotta slope your vent lines up. He didn't slope them. All right, back, back with some more code violations. This one is a plumbing issue. New water supply piping requires a pressure test. Typically you check the pressure at the washing machine box with the gauge. The issue is, well, he's missing the gauge and he chose to use air instead of water. Plastic piping requires water. You can use air for piping other than plastic like copper, but plastic piping, we need water and we need a pressure gauge to show the actual pressure. All right, we're back with some more violations. Plumbing, that drain line from the dishwasher, dishwasher right here, that drain line must be attached high up under the counter before it, it connects to the actual sanitary line. So we have to, you, sh you should run that from the dishwasher, run it up high, right up under the counter here, kitchen counter, and then you can wrap it around and connect it to the drain line. All right, and in closing, this is a situation that I ran into probably about a week ago. I had a plumber installing a sump pump and he didn't have access to a vent line for that unit. So this diagram that you're looking at shows how to handle that, that situation. If you are installing sump pump down in your basement, all you have to do is connect that vent line downstream of the sanitary connection point at the main and add a air admittance valve right off of the vent line. And that should, should do it for you. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up down in the comments section. I hope this helps. And with that one, I am out.